I'm Talia Lazarus and today we are at Silverstone and I am with F1 Academy driver Abby Pulling. So Abby, what is it like to be in the F1 Academy? Yeah, it's incredible. The, the opportunities that they're giving to us females is, is huge and the seat time that I've had this year is more than any year I've been driving. So, so for that and then also having Alpine behind me and supporting me, being in the iconic pink car this year was, was really fun. So yeah, I think it's, it's a positive time to be a female in, in the sport. And you are the first female driver in the Alpine Academy, correct? Yes, first female mm -hmm. driver, and uh, they recently had Sophia Flush come on, so mm -hmm. um, I'm the OG, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, how, does that, how is that for you then, to be the OG, to, to uh, be the first one? No, uh, well, I mean, to be honest, I don't think about it too much. Yeah. You know, I see myself as another driver at the end of the day. I see myself just as, you know, you know, I don't put myself above or below mm -hmm. or anything to, to the guys. You know, I'm, I like to think that I'm equal to, to them. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, to be honest, I don't think about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously you are, uh, I mean, you're a huge role model now for all young females, but not just most sports, but sports in general. What's that like to feel like that? Yeah, like, like say sports in general is, is changing as a whole. And, you know, there's the lionesses mm -hmm. that we've just been talking about off camera. and. Um, the F1 Academy within motorsport, and yeah, it's, it's amazing to be a female role model mm -hmm. to, to the younger younger girls coming into the sport. Not even as, as drivers, as you know, in, in any aspect. And uh, I think that's really special because I didn't really have that female role model when I was was their age. So it's it's kind of refreshing and nice that I can kind of pass on yeah. all of my knowledge and information and, and experiences to them. Yeah, that's lovely. And what's your favourite moment so far in your career then? Um, probably driving the E20 uh, yes. with, with Alpine. It was obviously with the, the old Lotus. And I did that in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I was the first female to, to drive uh, an F1 car in Saudi Arabia. I was doing it with mm -hmm. the lovely Azil as well. So, um, it's, I think a lot of people dream of driving an F1 car, especially mm -hmm. people that want to race F1 yeah. one day. But the, the message behind it was so huge and you know that made it like, extra bit special. I like that there's a lot of moments when we've gone first female driver for this, first female for that. <laughs> that that's pretty cool, you have to say, it is. Yeah, I think, I think it's cool that I, you know, I can say these yeah. sentences, you know, I was the first at this and first at that. I think um, it's... You know, like I say, motorsport is changing, and yeah. and there's there's a lot of firsts at the moment, mm -hmm. and I think there's still a lot of firsts yeah. to come. But uh, hopefully, I can be you know the first to <laughs> be a female Formula One driver. But yeah, well, you know, we don't we don't know, and um, it's just you know changing positively. You're yeah. not going to see it you know straight away, but in the next ten years, it's yeah. it's just getting better and better. All well, you have to dream big, right? Just keep dreaming. Of course, since yeah. a little eight year old me, still dreaming. <laughs> yeah, and then what are you most looking forward to then that you've got coming up that you're allowed to talk about? Um, training. <laughs> 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 no, I, to be honest, uh, in the season, it is really hard to, to yeah. build on, on your training and uh, even maintaining is quite a, an achievement mm -hmm. uh, sometimes because you're traveling a lot. It's hard to get a good schedule and, and eating and, and routine. Uh, so over the next couple couple months, I'm really excited. I actually genuinely am really excited <laughs> to, to push myself in the gym, yeah. uh, get bigger and stronger and faster mm -hmm. and, and all these things to, to uh, make sure that, that I'm ready for opportunities that, that come my way. Yeah, and I guess also you just, you'll learn so much about yourself, won't you? You'll grow from it, not just physically, but mentally. Yeah, no, mentally is it's a huge thing. I think especially this year, it's it's been I've learned a lot about myself, yeah. especially you know the mental side of, of racing. I work with uh, someone called Martin from from Gazing Performance Systems, and you know we we speak about a lot of things um, in, in the mental side of of the sport, but then actually applying it mm -hmm. is a whole different thing. So. Yeah, um, it's been it's been a, a good year for that and, and learning and building on that side of things. Good, good. And then I have one more question, which is, what advice would you give to somebody that is dreaming of being in motorsports and they have absolutely either no idea how to get into it or they're way too scared, they never think they will be able to achieve that? What would you say? Yeah, well, speak to a lot of girls today, actually. They thought they, you know, they didn't even think of motorsport as an option, and then they've kind of gotten into it, and they're like, wow, this is a whole big world that I can get into, and not just as, you know, a driver, as an engineer, or being in the media, or, you know, something along those lines. So I think the, the advice that I'd give is 
give it a go and you know you'll end up loving it trust me <laughs> uh, and you know don't take take no for an answer mm -hmm. don't you know there's obviously criticism there's constructive criticism and, and take that but you know people just throwing negativity your way you've just got to completely put the 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 blinkers on yeah. the blinkers and and ignore it i think that's what i did when i was I was younger. I was so ignorant to the fact that I was the only female. I didn't. I, I didn't realise that I was the only female. I just saw myself, you know, as as another driver. And I think that's what what you've got to do. You're just another, you know, press officer, or you're just another driver, or you're just another engineer. Yeah. You've just got to dream big, like we said. You've got to yeah, do exactly. you, and you've got to take action. Yeah, definitely take yeah. action. Go out there. Go to your local race track. Go to your local race team. You know, ask them what can I do. To get involved, uh, you know, get some get some hours behind, you know, on my CV and and you know just get some um, experience proper, you know, behind the spanners. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you very much for joining me. No, thank you very much for having me.